Hi my friends, welcome to the channel English Professionally and this video is how to learn 50,000 English words right not 5,000 but really 50,000 English words just imagine it okay so really let's talk about it so it's a very important subject okay so is it a joke? no I'm really serious about this idea to learn 50,000 English words and I know that it's possible, really I'm serious, it's possible to learn it and I really think that we need to know so 50,000 English words and, or more and I'll tell you why, okay? So don't you think that it's enough to know uh, let's say 2,000 or maybe 3,000 English words? Why? Do I need so many words and how can I really learn it? Really a good question. Okay? So thanks a lot for your questions. So you really ask them in the right place and at the right time, as they say, yeah, a good phrase. In the right place and at the right time, as they say, or as people say, yeah. I'll tell you the most important secrets of learning such a number of English words and why you really need it. So really most people don't understand that they need such a number of English words so they think okay so 1000 is enough, 2000 is enough or 3000 is enough but in fact it isn't and so okay let's get it started, let's get it started. So the thing is, yeah a nice phrase, the thing is there is a widespread belief, so most people believe so, most people think so. You need to know about 2000 or 3000 English words to know English. Yeah, I think that most people tend to think so. The fact is that it's enough for basic purposes. I mean, for basic purposes or for basic aims. Yeah, so if you want to speak English, but you don't want to know English really well, you don't want to know English perfectly. So, and in fact, I have to tell you one more important thing. So, only the knowledge of these words means nothing. Yeah, only the knowledge of these words means nothing, okay? So, you can know 3,000, you can know... Uh, 50,000 English words, but only the knowledge of these words, when you know the translation of these words, isn't enough. It's nothing, yeah? And what do you need to do? You need to be able to do much more. In fact, really, in fact, you need to know how to use them. And you should do it spontaneously and naturally. So it's a very important thing. So you need really you need to know how to use them, in what context, in what situations, and you should do it naturally and spontaneously like native speakers of English. So people who were born, let's say, in England or America. So good. Why do you think it isn't enough? If you know approximately this number of words, so approximately means about maybe about, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more, this number of words, I mean 2000 um, and 3000, and you can use them effectively in your speech, so you can use them quite well in your speech, it means that your level is about intermediate, it's about intermediate, yeah, it's intermediate, oh, it's only this level. To have an advanced level of English, you need to know at least, at least means minimum, 10,000 English words. Yeah, I believe so. At least minimum or more. And uh, basically, I believe so. This number is about, yeah, actually from 10,000 to 30,000 English words for really, for strong advanced students. Yeah, this number of words. So 2,000, 3,000, it's still little. It's just for basic English conversation. Yeah, it isn't enough. Yeah, really, it's an important. Okay, so all right. Why are we talking about 50,000 English words, really? So, we've talked about, you know, 10,000, maybe 30,000, but why, really? Why are we talking about 50,000 English words? Actually, there is one more level 
which is higher than advanced. So it's called proficiency. Really? So it's an interesting fact. Again, so most people think that, okay, so I want to know English well. So then they look at different levels and they say, oh, so I can have an advanced level. So it's a great idea. And so my aim is to reach an advanced level. And so uh, they think about it quite often, but they don't realize that it isn't the highest level. It isn't the, high le the highest level. There is one more high level. Yeah, we call it proficiency. So what does it imply? Or what does it mean? What does it imply or what does it mean? It implies or it means that you know English like an educated native speaker. Yeah, so it's a very important thing, not just like a native speaker, but like an educated native speaker. So it's really a very high level. It's a completely different level and it's another stage. It's another level. It's another stage. Uh, could you clarify this point or could you say it more clearly? So really, uh, what, it, what does it mean? What does it mean? So to know English like an educated native speaker is and yeah, let's uh, get back uh, to our discussion. Okay, I hope you won't deny the fact. You won't deny the fact means you won't say no, yeah? It's very easy to get an elementary level, so it's very easy, yeah, to have a basic level, to have a basic level. So you can do it within a very short period of time. It means that, so really, if you haven't learned English, so you can have a basic level actually in a very short period of time or within a very short period of time you can do it very, uh, actually very fast. So by the way, it's more difficult to reach the next level. So it's a fact. So okay, maybe, you know, it took you, you know, a month or two months or maybe less time to reach an elementary level. Yeah, so you want uh, to have the next level pre-intermediate and the fact is, it's more difficult to reach the next level which pre-intermediate as it takes uh, more time and energy so it can take, you know, uh, three times longer or so, or four times longer so if you want to have a strong intermediate level it's another big challenge or it's another big task, yeah? It's another maybe a big plan problem. So in fact, it's several times more difficult to know English at this level. Yeah, we say at this level, at a certain level. So it's really difficult, yeah, I mean, to get an intermediate level. Yeah, and the most difficult thing is, I mean, uh, to move uh, further or to move ahead to, to get the next level, yeah? So, okay. I got it, so I got it or I understood it. So as far as I understand, so really I understand it this way, it's more and more difficult to get the next level, to get the next level. Yeah, right, yeah. If we try to be realistic, yeah, so let's be honest, yeah, honestly, honestly or frankly speaking, most students have a pre-intermediate level, so it's a fact, pre-intermediate. So, few people reach an advanced level, so not so many people, so maybe 5%, maybe 3%, you know, it isn't such an easy thing. So, and the question is, why do they have this level, why do, we, why do they have this pre-intermediate level, don't they want uh, to have an advanced level? They want, but it's much more difficult, so it's very difficult, I mean, uh, to get a level which um, is higher than intermediate is very difficult, yeah, because it's much more work. So, and really, it's extremely difficult to reach an advanced level, so it's a lot of work. It's a lot of, it's lots of work. Okay, good. So, what about proficiency? Yeah, we talked about it. It's much more difficult than having an advanced level. So, really? Okay, so you know that uh, you can have an advanced level, but you know to reach this level proficiency, it's uh, you know it's such a big challenge. So it can take you years. It can take you years and many years. And really, how many words you you need to know English like an educated native speaker? And how many words do you know in your native language? So how many words? 
So I think it's more than a one hundred thousand. Yeah, more. Okay. So you understand that if you want to know English perfectly, to understand everything, so different phrases in any situation, so ninety nine percent, ninety nine percent or one hundred percent. Yeah, not just. I mean, not just ninety percent, eighty percent. If you understand. Eighty percent, eighty-five percent, so ninety percent. You feel uncomfortable because you don't understand some important points. Okay, you understand. I mean, most of this information, but it isn't everything. But if you want to understand everything in any context, so you need to know more. And I believe it's about this number, so fifty thousand English words. And you see that to know English perfectly. I mean, fifty thousand English words. Isn't such a big number, and it's real to learn them, really. So you said so that maybe you know one hundred thousand words in your native language. So if you want to know English perfectly, so this number is okay. So I see your point, and、uh, I really want to have this level. What should I do for it? Do I need、uh, to take a list of most common fifty、uh, thousand English words and learn it? So it's really a good question. So most people think so. Okay, I'll take a list of most common English words and I learn it very quickly. Okay, so we should say the following. Well, it won't help you. It won't help you. Won't means will not. You can refresh your knowledge. So refresh your knowledge means you can remember, yeah,、uh, what you learned earlier. Looking at a list of most common English words with examples. If you have already met the most part of them, and this method is really good, so、uh, let's look actually at our channel. So we have a list, you know, of two、um, thousand most common English words, two thousand and five hundred English words. So the lists are quite good. So if you really, really want, I mean, to refresh your knowledge, and you know, maybe eighty-five percent and ninety percent, eighty percent, but not less. So if you know less, you need to work more and more. So it won't help you, okay? So especially if it's about this、uh, list. I mean, list of five thousand, five fifty, yeah, not five fifty, you know, thousand English words. And if these words are new for you, are new for you, yeah. If these、uh, words are new for you, yeah. So most in you, it won't lead to anything good. So you won't have a good result. So really, it's、um, I think it is an irrational way of learning English. So you need to learn them only in context, only in context. Okay? Are there special techniques or are there special methods? So how we can learn it really effectively? I believe I should start reading something in the original. And、uh, I'll understand all these words in context. Yeah, so most people think so. Okay, really. So I just need to take a book. Yeah, and you know, often we often hear these kind of、uh, things as you need to start reading something in the original, and you'll understand everything. I don't agree with it. It's a myth, really. This thought is very naive, naive. So it isn't serious. It isn't objective. You can do it for your level.、Uh, you can do it if your level is advanced. So if your level is advanced, yeah, you can、uh, take a book in the original and you can understand a lot. Yeah, looking at the context. If not, it won't help you. So、um, it will be a complete nightmare. It's a very. It will be a terrible thing. So if not, you need to learn. Simplified books, yeah, for each level. First, you need to start with simplified materials. It's an important thing. So only this, not only, and、uh, actually to enlarge your vocabulary,、uh, you need to learn special materials on vocabulary, special books on vocabulary. So for different levels and for advanced levels, for proficiency level two. So it's a faster way. Only reading without explanations, without explanations, isn't enough. So you need to learn special books on vocabulary for higher levels too. So and not only reading. So reading and listening. Okay. So what else? You also need to read a lot. So and just now I'd like to give you actually some important tips. I remember that I decided to read.、Uh, yeah, to read. Yeah, one. 
yeah, to read one English book a week in the original, yeah, so my level was advanced or shown up already minute, but I think it was advanced, yeah, in the original, and I did it, so I chose different materials, so which were interesting for me, only modern English, and I improved my vocabulary greatly, so, and, uh, Actually, so reading 100 pages a day wasn't impossible. So it was possible to read 100 pages a day. So it, you know it was such a big challenge. So I did it. So okay, so I have a plan. So I have to read 100 pages uh, today. Okay, no problem. So I have to do the same tomorrow. 100 pages again. Again, it's a lot. Yeah, just imagine it. So if you look at one month. It's 3,000 pages, it's lots of words, lots of vocabulary. And in fact, it accelerated the process of getting to know more English words. So it accelerated the process, yeah, actually of learning these English words. It's an important thing, yeah? Okay, but maybe you have this kind of question. So it's a good idea, but only in theory. So I can't read so many pages a day, so I often hear it. And I can tell you the following, look, I know how you can solve this problem, don't worry, you need to choose a suitable level for you, it's your key to success, you need to meet maximum, yeah, you need to meet maximum 10 new words on one page, so really, students often ask me, so what book should I read? So I believe so, it's maximum 10 new words on one page, maximum 10 new words, so maybe 5, 10, not more, not more. If it's more, it means, yeah, it isn't your level, it isn't your level and you need to use uh, other materials. So, and start with adapted materials, then choose, uh, yeah, then choose, yeah, uh, then choose more and more difficult ones, more and more difficult materials. So, the problem is that you can't read maybe 50 pages a day or 30 pages a day because, I mean, this information is too difficult for you. Actually, choose, I mean, suitable materials for you. Uh, so, and uh, where you will know most of these words, 95% of these words, or maybe 98. And, you know, it will be a pleasure for you. It will be a pleasure for you to read these materials. Okay, good. So, do I need to train a lot? Absolutely. Reading a lot should be your habit. If you think that you can't read a lot because you meet too many new words and you get bored with it very quickly, it's only an excuse, really. Open your eyes, my friend. Open your eyes, okay? So it only means that you've chosen the wrong materials not suitable for your level, really. Because, really, if you understand everything, so these materials are quite simple, it will be a pleasure for you to read them. And you read easily, you know, 20 pages a day, 30 pages or 40 pages a day. No problem at all, no problem at all. So, actually, the biggest problem is that most students choose inappropriate materials. So, not good enough, yeah? So, they want to learn everything and uh, in a day or in two days, no, just, okay, oh, wait a bit. I see. So, learning English should be for pleasure. It's an advantage if you can listen to what you read, especially at the beginning of your way. It's an advantage if you can listen to what you read, yeah? Really, it's a big advantage. You need to read and listen, especially at the beginning of your way. And, you know, really, I don't understand why students only read. If the level is low, they need to listen a lot. Listening, listening, and listening. So, and if your level is low, then upper intermediate. So, I believe only reading is so ineffective. You, you Actually, you don't really know. So, how ineffective it is. Listen, listen, listen and listen. Listen all the time and read. Listen all the time and read. It's very important. So, only reading, you know, it's uh, actually, it's something actually which relates to our previous generation, I believe. Maybe to the 20th century, but not to the 21st century. So, it's an old method of learning. So, replace it. Listen more and more. And I have to tell you some more very important tips. Really, don't you understand? Only reading is a very slow way. The fact, the fact, yeah, actually, the fact is that if you are going to learn 50,000 English words or more, 
you need to spend a lot of time on English, a lot of time on it. And obviously, it's clear or it's obvious, you don't have so much time. You don't have so much time, really. It can be a big problem for you. Okay, oh, where can I find so much time to learn, yeah, so many English words? And um, I can tell you the following. So, what should I do in this case, yeah? Uh, it's your question. And the last, I mean, the most important tip, and few people, maybe almost no one knows it, but you will know it. You need to have perfect listening skills. I mean, to actually to learn these number of words some more, so that you can listen to English while doing something else. Okay, I think you knew it. Uh, actually, it isn't a new thing for you, but actually, uh, let's uh, go further. And you need to understand new English words in the context, but not only in the reading context. This way isn't perfect. Your aim is to be able to catch, I mean, to understand the meaning of new words in the listening context. It's a very important thing. So, when actually we hear, okay, understand English words in context, in context, Oh, students think only about reading context. It's wrong. It's very slow and it isn't so professional because we don't have so much time, so we can't spend hours reading. So, but we have time, you know, to listen to actually to different things while doing other things. And you need to understand the meaning of new words when you listen is the most important thing. And to achieve this, you need actually to have an advanced level of English. And then you'll be able uh, to do it, but you need more and more listening practice. Yeah, actually, keep this very important point in mind. So, I think no one knows about it, but it's really the most important thing. So, we don't have so much free time, so we can't learn. We can't learn, yeah, this. 50,000 English words only by reading, so we don't have so much time, it's impossible. But we can do it while listening, but we need to listen to more advanced materials. And to do this, you need to improve your level first, listen, listen more. So yeah, learn English words in context, but not only in the reading context, it's very slow. In the listening context, both reading and listening context. Okay, my friends, I really hope that uh, this information is extremely useful and you'll follow these tips to reach this level proficiency. Thank you very much, my friends, and good luck.